the definition of back pressure. Back pressure is the pressure that exists at the outlet of the valve, you, so you were correct. There's um, two different types of back pressure. There's built up back pressure and superimposed back pressure. The built up back pressure exists only at the outlet while blowing down of the safety valve. So when the valve opens, it creates built up back pressure. Superimposed back pressure can be either constant, so maybe you have your valve piped, the outlet piped to a vessel where you're trying to recirculate um, material. Um, so that could create back pressure. Maybe the temperature is, uh, gets higher and expands and you have a little bit, you know, you have back pressure on there. Um, variable is uh, it, back pressure that changes. Um, and it, the superimposed back pressure exists only at the blowdown system. The superimposed independent uh, of the blowdown of the safety valve. But back pressure equals built up and superimposed. Um, and how you would gauge that is you'd put a, a, a gauge at the outlet of the valve. Um, it's very important that, that you compensate for this. The effects that back pressure has on the valve, uh, the, the components of the valve is the disc. So that back pressure is pushing down on that disc. It's actually holding the valve closed. Um, and that's something that you don't want. Um, and you want to compensate for it. Um, some of the reasons uh, there's superimposed back pressure is the plant design um, and operating conditions in the blowdown system. Um, built up back pressure can uh, the influence, the influencing factors uh, is the diameter of the outlet piping, the length of the outlet piping, <clears throat> um, pressure loss and, and all that. And when the valve goes off, it tries to relieve it. Uh, the, the, the friction through your system could cause back pressure. Um, and some of the characteristics that uh, would influence or be influenced by back pressure is uh, it would make the valve flutter or chatter. Um, so it'll reduce the lift of the valve. And uh, what it does to capacity reduction by lower flow velocity due to lower pressure difference between inlet and outlet of the safety valve. It reduces the lift again, and it'll chatter and flutter. And when it does that, it's gonna, it's gonna beat the valve. Um, it, it'll ruin the components of the valve, and you'll have to take it out and main, maintenance it. So an example of this This is the operation So that would definitely um, not be good on a valve. Uh, you would want to replace probably a lot of the components if you saw that happening or heard that happening in a valve. It should not relieve that way. Um, and that's it's a influence uh, sometimes of back pressure. <clears throat> so
So ASME and API, they recognize that the, these, that back pressure does have these influences, and so they, they make a statement about it. Um, and I'll just read the ASME, superimposed back pressure uh, is a static pressure existing at the outlet of the safety valve due to pressure in the discharge system. Um, so some of the adjustments that can be made um, to compensate for this back pressure uh, is uh, for constant back pressure is setting to differential set pressure, CDTP. We heard that term earlier when we were going through terminology. Um, and we'll go over it again later. It's, there's a whole um, presentation or a part that explains CDTP in, in detail. Um, you can use a, a balanced bellows. That'll compensate for the back pressure. And I'll show you how later. Um, for variable back pressure, you can use a balanced bellows. So this is showing the valve that's closed and the pressure is equal uh, from the spring and the pressure in the, in the inlet. The valve starts to open when the forces at the inlet overcompensate that spring. <clears throat> Without a bellows in a, in a conventional valve, you're gonna see uh, the red is all the influencing pressure pushing on the disc and the spindle and all the components inside the valve, which affect the valve to come down. Most of the arrows are pushing down on that, on that disc. Um, <clears throat> if the back pressure is too high, maximum 15% of the set pressure, the safety valve could work unstable, fluttering or chattering. So when you put a balanced bellows in a valve, um, it compensates for the back pressure in a way that uh, the acting forces of pushing down on the disc, the diameter of that disc is the same the bellows, uh, as the bellows diameter pushing up. So it compensates for the back pressure. Uh, and the then you wouldn't have to set the valve at a different set pressure on a test bench as you would on uh, the system that you're going to be putting, putting the valve on cancels it out completely. <clears throat>